I have a question for you. Are you afraid or reactive to or get anxious when good things happen to you? Do you feel like when something good is going on in your life, it's going to be taken away? And that causes a lot of feelings of discomfort, anxiety, pain, stress, fear, crying even. Are you having that going on because it's a really common thing to happen after you've been with toxic people or after you've had narcissistic relationships uh, in your life, whether you were brought up by them or you've had them as an adult or at any point in your life. So let's talk about that today. I'm Lise Colucci and I'm here to help you with everything related to recovering from toxic relationships and understanding narcissism. So let's get started, hit thumbs up, hit subscribe, and I want to know, is that happening to you? Has that happened to you? And what do you do about it? Do you hide from the good things? Do you refuse to feel the good things? Do you become triggered and then suddenly the good thing's a bad thing in a split second? How does that happen for you? you know, for myself, it's been a difficult road. That's been one of the hardest things to sort of heal from because it's so ingrained. It's so programmed up here in my brain that something bad's going to happen. Well, the truth is, yeah, life's full of ups and downs. And in, in a person that has a regulated nervous system that hasn't had all this trauma and doesn't have CPTSD, they roll with it. The good and the bad flow. They don't want the bad times, but they move through it. When the good times happen, they enjoy it. And knowing that tomorrow the bad times could come, right? Without any stress and worry, without having to project the bad into the future that's coming, they just ride through the emotions. The truth is we're not meant to be stuck in an emotional state. We're not meant to, as human beings, carry all this stress and fear. That is survivor mode, you guys. That is we're constantly being chased by tigers and lions and stuff, right? And we have to always be on alert or something might jump out and eat us. That's what that is. We're not, that's why we're set up that way to protect ourselves literally to survive but when you're out of a toxic relationship you're no longer being chased by the tigers and the lions you are now in a safer space in your life and you can let it go you can let yourself have the good and the bad experiences but how do you let yourself when you've been trained that the bad's going to come and that it's a terrible thing See, the thing is with the with the intermittent reinforcement that the narcissist does when they love bomb you and then devalue you when they when things get really strained and they have you so devalued and they are so dismissive of you. And then suddenly there's a good streak for however long that lasts, who knows, and then it goes right back again over and over and over you're being conditioned to react to the good by clinging to it by not by not believing in it, by not wanting to feel it in one sense because it's gonna go away and wanting to feel it really big in another sense because it might go away. Does that make sense? You're, you're, we are being, it's like it's being conducted. We have to follow the con, how it's being conducted and we don't have free choice and free thought or even freedom to feel what we feel in the moment. So we have to understand that the other shoe drops, it happens. We are not meant to cling to one emotional state. The truth is most people have multiple emotional states going on every second of their day. It can be from the smallest thing, like an irritation to, I don't know anything, like stubbing your toe and having that pain that you're carrying with you through the day, as well as a thought about a friend, which makes you happy, as well as an irritation with a coworker that makes you annoyed, all happening at once. And our trauma brains cling to the bad because that's the only thing we can manage. That's the only thing we can, we can protect ourselves from by managing down. The good, that, that's the thing that we think is going to fix it all, right? But the truth is the good and the bad are happening at the same time for all people at all times. We've got to learn to get out of the trauma brain if we want to break the cycle of being afraid of the good. Now, if you're still in a toxic relationship, this is probably not where you're at right now. Um, but maybe it is. Maybe you can start working this way in areas that don't have anything to do with the toxic person, right? So that you can enjoy parts of your life. If you're out of it and you're away from them, especially if you're no contact 
and especially, especially if you're no contact for quite a while, then it could be time if you choose for your life to learn to accept and allow the good to come in without worrying about when it leaves. That's the truth of life. That is how that's how life functions is that it comes and goes. If we are so afraid of it leaving, we can't get, we can't even allow ourselves to feel the good when it's happening. It's about coming into the moment. It's about being present to the moment and being more mindful in your life of where you are right now. Yes, right now might be a bad moment. What about five minutes from now? Could you check back in? What about 10 minutes from now? Could you check back in then? Could you be more present to yourself and what you're actually experiencing? Not throwing and projecting everything backwards and then slingshotting it into the future. Does that make sense? Not going into your past to pull all of the toxic that you have felt and have had experienced and all of the bad things and throwing them by projecting them into the future. Can, can we stop that and just be present to what's actually happening and what's actually in our mom, in our life right now? Can you go into your mind and change your thoughts when you have the repeating thoughts of fear about the future, of fear about the good thing that's happening? Can you tell yourself, this is what I'm feeling and that's okay? This is what I experienced. Isn't that wonderful? What else is possible for this moment? What else is possible for tomorrow? Could you get into the question rather than staying stuck in the known thing that the bad thing will come? Journaling, journaling it all out, getting it out of your system and putting it on paper, that can help you as well. Learning breathing exercises to calm when you feel stress and anxiety over good things. When I feel something really amazing is happening, the stress is happening at the same time. I really don't like it. So I breathe and I tell my body, hey, that bad thing is not here right now. And I try and breathe into the places where I feel the discomfort and the anxiety. It's usually in my stomach. Um, and I tell myself, this is an okay moment. This is a good moment. You're allowed to have it. It's okay. And it's okay that it will be gone in five minutes or 10 minutes or five years. You don't know. Just be in the moment now. And then another thing is seeking gratitude. And seeking gratitude, in my opinion, with also questioning. I am so grateful for this moment. What else is possible? I am so grateful for this moment. How does it get better than this? That's the kind of questioning that can help you open up your world and allow the emotions you're actually feeling. And then let them flow through. Nothing's meant to stick in you. The emotions that stick in you get stuck in your body, good and bad, and that's not, it's not a positive thing. Allow life to flow through you. Flow is really the word of the day here for, for how to get through this particular issue. Remember that life has its cycles and things happen and good and bad, neutral all the time. So try not to cling to it Try not to take it personal in the sense of it's happening to you because most of the time it's not, it's just happening around you. Yes, you have had toxic people be horrible to you. Most of life is not doing that. That's a hard thing for people to allow their brain to, to accept, but it's much freer. It's much freer and then you have choice in your life and you can move forward in your life. So. If you want to talk about this further, leave me a comment in the main description of the video. Go ahead and hit the thumbs up, hit subscribe. If you need coaching, group coaching, or anything else, peer support, all of it, check out the main description as well. There's information there about how to contact me too. So let me know if you need anything. I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye-bye.